Hey there, it's Nick Shell, the internet receding hairline guy. I'm not actually driving a car right now, so that's why I'm not wearing a seatbelt. I just wanted to be clear, I'm a safe kind of guy. I want to do this quick video just to point out something. I want to clarify. Uh, I asked yesterday in a video, I said, hey, what, how could I impr uh, improve my haircut? You know, maybe I could go short on the sides, grow my sideburns. You know, I'm, you know, what are your suggestions? And I feel like maybe I miscommunicated that by you submitting your ideas that I don't care about those, that I don't take them seriously, that I'm not going to do them anyway. Um, I want to be clear about that. I do care. I definitely value them. It's just that I'm not going to do anything about them right now, and I think it's important that I explain why. So don't want to jump the gun here, but I mentioned a few weeks ago that I'm being considered for a reality show because I look like the guy from the Campbell Soup Go thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just search my videos and type in Campbell's Go and you'll see what I'm talking about. So I had a talent agent reach out from Los Angeles. I had to do all these Skype interviews and ultimately I received word from her this week that they have chosen me for this, which is great news. I'm currently awaiting a phone call from the producer of the show to tell me what's next. Now, hey, I can't get too happy yet because it hasn't actually happened. But because of that, I'm obviously not going to cut my, share, my hair any shorter than this. I want to continue to look like the guy on the Campbell Soup thing, right? Otherwise, it can take away from the story. So what that means is I'm not planning on shaving my head anytime soon. I know I'd look better with shorter hair. Well, I mean, with a shaved head, number one. I know that. I know that. And I agree with you. And it's not that I don't care about your input. I do care. I'm actually taking notes of that. I'm planning my future around it because that's something victorious people do. They make plans, they plan for their future and all that stuff. So what I would just want to point out is I do care about what you said, but we got to let this thing run its course as far as this reality show. Okay. So worst case scenario, they're going to be keeping up with me for a year for this show. So I got to keep my hair consistent so that I can look like the guy on the label. But man, if there's money in it for me, if it helps get me extra exposure, then I need to obviously do it, right? So even though I agree with you that I should shave my head and I look better, and I know that, and I value your input, the main reason I can't do anything about it right now is because this reality show thing's up in the air. It's called, uh, I think This Time Next Year is the name of the show. It's already the show they do overseas. They're bringing to America. So I need to make sure that this happens. Now... Uh, what an event if they say, you know what, we canceled the show, We're not, we, we decided we don't want you. Okay, then I, I can be more open-minded to shaving my hair sooner than waiting a year. But if you were me, you can imagine that you need to keep your hair at least this long for the reality show, right? So that's where I'm coming from. I just wanted to, to let you know that little secret. And I do care about you. Please don't think that I don't care about you. Um, you know, I, I guess I, I want to close with this comment. I am impossible to offend. There's no way you can emotionally affect me at all. Um, at the same time, that doesn't mean I don't care what you have to say. So to see the difference on this side is you, can, you have no emotional uh, uh, control over me because I'd have to give you that control and I'm not willing to do that for anyone in the world. On the other side is I do care what you have to say. So does that make sense? On one side, you can't offend me. On the other side, I do care what you have to say and I value it. Uh, but just my personality... Um, I may not do something about it right then and there. I may, till the, I, have to, I may have to wait till the time is right, and that's the case right now. I have to wait until the time is right to get a haircut or to let my hair get much longer than this. I think I might have to keep my hair this length for a while until this reality show shoots or just falls apart and doesn't happen. Does that make sense? So I care about you. I care about what you have to say. Uh, it, it's not that I just write it off and... Uh, oh, I'm going to ask you a question, and I don't really care what you have to say. I do care. I'm, I'm definitely taking notes on this, and I've, I value that. So I thank you for taking your time to watch the videos and to comment. And now you know my little secret. We've got that reality show thing, and I'll, I'll keep you posted on what I know as it happens. But right now, I'm waiting on the call from the producer to find out what the next step is. But I've passed all the tests from the talent agent for this reality show. So yay for, yay for that. Let's see where that takes us. Thanks for your understanding. I hope that clears it up. I don't want to offend anyone. I want you to know that I care about you and I appreciate your support. I'm Nick Shell, the internet receding hairline guy.